Okay, today we're going to take a look at the Net Atmo weather station for the smartphone. Comes in a fancy box. You can control everything from your, or read everything and record everything from your smartphone. I think that's the outdoor station and the indoor station. All right. Inside, let's see, we have in a nice strong box, we have the outdoor net atmo station. You can hook that on the wall outside. It's supposed to be kept out of direct sunlight and out of the rain. So I'm going to be putting it underneath the awning of the deck. And then inside, you can see there's a water seal here. This tightens up the battery compartment. Pop that open. And we put some batteries, double A's in there, which I'll do in a second. All right, and then this one, or a strong box. This one is the indoor station where the power supply goes in. This does not come apart. It's sort of a brushed uh, aluminum on the outside. And the side box, let's see, we have a very small manual with just quick pictures explaining how to set it up. And the website to set up your smartphone. I'll do that after. Power supply for the indoor unit. Let's plug in there. And the transformer for the wall. All right, anything else in here? Oh. I can put in here. Pop that on there. Screw it all together. Okay, ready to put that outside. Okay, I'm placing the outdoor station here under the deck roof. And you can see I've got it right there. Slides right onto the screw head like that. Pops down, good and secure. All right, next stage, head inside. Okay, there is the weather station. We'll get in the side. Right there, okay. We are at the netatmo.com website. Welcome and thank you for buying the Netatmo weather station. We'll have it up and running in a few seconds. Okay, sign up email. I'll do that and be right back. Okay, it says download software for the Mac in our case. So we will download the setup wizard. up okay welcome thank you for buying it please click continue connect the weather station to the USB port do that right now congratulations your weather station has been detected we will now proceed with Wi-Fi configuration click OK we select the network and the password. And we'll call this the Atmo 1. Congratulations, your weather station has now access to the internet. You can access it using the Net Atmo account. To use your weather station, plug it into a USB wall adapter. We'll go do that now. I'm going to plug in the base station now. And C 
see what happens. Going green. Three times. All right, we'll tuck it back there and then we'll check on the computer. Okay, with the Netatmo set up on the laptop, we're going to now set it up on my iPhone. So I've gone to the App Store and I typed in Netatmo and I get Weather Station by Netatmo. So I've already downloaded that. I'm going to pop that open. Here's what the app looks like on the, the main screen with the phone oriented in portrait mode. If I click on the information button up here, you can see that we have current weather, the air pressure outside, dew point, outdoor humidity, outdoor temperature, all at the top, mixed with the seven day forecast off the net for my location. Plus we have indoor CO2 level. All the stuff on the bottom in white is all indoor. We have the indoor temperature, humidity, acoustic comfort, CO2 measurement. So I'll take that off so you can see it better. So there you have it weather forecast for the next six days current temperature shows you the high and the low for the day and down here we have 20 degrees Celsius is our temperature the little green uh, spot there shows that the CO2 is at a safe level and that's apparently healthy so I can go install extra weather stations here when I get the rain gauge don't forget to check the uh, link there for the rain gauge when I get that and uh, you can see that but right now it's not going to work very well because it's winter and we don't have any rain and here we have a graph of the data so far since it started recording 3 degrees Celsius almost up to 6 and dropping quickly down to about one degree, a little over one degree. Let's see what else? I can check the temperature outdoor. I can check the temperature indoor. Relatively stable. It's nice, gives me all these settings. Humidity. So there you have it, folks. The Net Atmo in action. I have to say, it's pretty awesome, and it's just going to get even better as it keeps a record. Uh, over the years of all the extreme weather. Can't wait to get the rain gauge on there. So when we have these heavy thunderstorms in the summer, you can see exactly how much rain you got at your location. Lots of cool information. You can add modules if you need. And they even have a wind, a wind gauge. So you can add that if you so feel inclined. Anyway, if you're a weather person, that is one cool weather station. The Net Atmo. Click one of these videos for more great Burt Bunch TV. And don't forget to subscribe. You <laughs> made it onto my nice list. As you can see, this board is huge. It has three entrances.